Rain, the element of nature that bathes Mother Earth in its own true colors, greenery and prosperity. However, rain also acts as the harbinger to many sufferings and agony in the form of loss of crop, animal and human lives and flood. One of the post-rain scenarios is vector-borne diseases. In 2012, Gorakhpur encountered a massive loss of human lives due to Japanese encephalitis. And this year as well, it made it to the headlines. Metropolitan cities such as Guwahati frequently experience artificial floods, which creates a plethora of problems. One of the main reasons behind this is the absence of a well-planned drainage system, along with it, the blockage of drains, which leads to accumulation of water, and it slowly turns into a breeding ground of many different species of mosquitoes. After sucking blood from a host, the female mosquito lays eggs on the surface of the murky stagnant water to complete its life cycle. These vermins not only cause nuisance by sucking blood, but also transmit diseases by carrying viruses and parasites in them such as plasmodium, etc. Hospitals and clinics are crowded with people from far away places suffering from vector-borne diseases seeking medical attention. Every year, it has been observed that people in Assam suffer the most during the monsoon season. It has been seen that the number of reported malaria cases have gone down, increase in Japanese encephalitis, also being a zoonotic disease. There are several modes of treatment, yet prevention is the best option in averting a disease. Several government and non-government organizations have taken a step in educating the people with the help of media. Physical control method involves the removal of breeding ground of mosquitoes. The chemical control methods are insecticides and kerosene in breeding ground and the genetic control methods involves sterile insect release techniques. One of the major roles in biological control is the Gambusia species, a fish which is both larviparous and larvifagus, which has helped in controlling the vectors to a great extent. Secondly, the planting of mosquito repellent plants such as citronella or lemongrass, mint or pudina, basil or tulsi, marigold, and neem has also been helpful in repelling mosquitoes. Thirdly, Avoid contact with diseased animal to reduce chances of zoonosis. On personal levels, install window screens or secure house in the evening. Use mosquito nets, repellents and ointments. Vaccinate if possible. Wear full sleeve clothes to protect yourself from interaction with mosquitoes so that you can contribute to the community because charity begins at home. When there is no mosquito contact, there is no disease.